What's going on guys? I just picked up the Crane 2 and I want to compare it to the Feiyutech G6 Plus. You think this little gimbal will hold up? Stay tuned to find out. Okay, a little disclaimer right off the bat. I literally just got the Crane 2 last night. I haven't had a whole lot of time to play with it, so I'm probably going to fumble around with the menu system, but I think I got a hand along and I've watched a couple of videos, so I, I, have, a, I have an idea of what it can and can't do. But what I really wanted to make this video for was to show you how much of a beast this little Feiyutech G6 Plus is uh, compared to the giant beast, the actual beast of the Crane 2. Now before we get started with this uh, little comparison video that I want to make to show you guys just some of the cool features that this Feiyutech G6 Plus has, this is Feiyutech's answer to the Ronin-S and the... Uh, the Crane 2. Now, it's not a real answer because obviously this is based off the G6 platform. They just kind of threw one of these uh, knobs on there. I think this product was really rushed to market just to have something, and it's tiny. I mean, it's literally, this thing is, this, this thing is tiny. But I like it. I like it that it's really tiny. It fits in my camera bag almost perfectly. Uh, but I love the size of this tiny little gimbal. You take this uh, really cheesy uh, plastic. This thing is just, I should get a new one because this Get a new one. If you buy this G6 Plus, don't use that tripod. I mean, use it, but definitely replace it. But look at the size of this thing. Just just the pure, just the tininess of it. It fits in my camera bag, and I can take this everywhere I go. And uh, it's actually a really powerful little gimbal for, I think I paid $269 for, which is, which is a fantastic price point for what you actually get. Um, now, it's perfect for shooting with cameras like the Sony RX100 Mark V. Um, any, any kind of point and shoot is perfect. Uh, cell phone, uh, action cameras, anything like that. It actually does hold some mirrorless cameras. Um, some of the smaller Sony's, uh, the A63, the A65, the A6000, and then the 5000 series. Uh, it does say it holds uh, like the Panasonic GH4. Uh, it will, it, it actually balances my, my Panasonic G7. Uh, the problem is, is it's too tall. So when you go to invert it, this top uh, motor here, uh, actually hits the top of the camera and it won't actually go fully inverted so although it will balance the weight it just won't uh you can't do all the, the motion with it which is something that this gimbal actually lacks a lot of is motion um it doesn't really do 360 uh, i think it'll 360 this way but nothing else spins and this actual um, the rotate is really really tight it doesn't it doesn't rotate a whole lot um you got your full pan you can look straight up and almost straight down as you can see they're not quite down it's 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 really limited on motion but uh, you got you got some decent motion for the size of this gimbal so that's amazing uh, one of the one of the big beefs I have about it is this uh, quick release plate here um, and it's not more of a beef with the gimbal itself it's more of a beef with my Sony camera because they did not uh, the quarter 20 screw is off to one side when you match it up with the quick release plate, it sits so far off to the left that the motors can't compensate for it. So I have to move it over in order to do that. You have to use the supplied screw, but you have to take this plate out, which is kind of annoying because it's in the way. Um, it sits too far up and then the camera sits at an angle, which it's not fun. And then you have to worry about losing this plate, especially if you're shooting with multiple cameras on location. Now that has to go in your pocket or somewhere where you remember it so you don't lose it. So that's kind of annoying. I wish they would have just put that towards the center and then given us some back and forth adjustments, but they didn't. So let's go ahead and mount this up real quick and I'll show you some of the cool features this thing has compared to the Crane 2. I mean, it's not very good, but it does help. It's just really rattly. I don't like it. It's just, I don't, I don't, I don't trust it. It's not made by Feutech. It's made by Pergear. I don't know. I've had one before and it broke. I actually still have it. It's in my office. It's just in pieces. I bought it for something else and it's just, it's in pieces now, so they're not good quality little tripods, so just so you know. All right, so let's get this. I know from balancing this before, this kind of goes towards the front. If you don't know how to balance it, you hold the gimbal straight out like this, horizontal, and you want this motor to be level. You don't want it to come down, and you don't want it to be up. You want it to be level. Good. And then now you just hold and twist these locks. And there is a direction on top that shows you which way it locks and which way it doesn't lock. Second thing you want to do is uh, actually balance the camera where the lens is straight up. So you're gonna wanna adjust this motor here so to where your, your lens is pointing straight up. 
lock that down. Now you want to do this back arm here. You want to make sure the camera stays level this way. So undo this, unscrew this back, and push over. Okay. And lastly, now that we don't have the quick release plate, so this is kind of annoying, we have to use our fingers and get up in there. A little screwdriver would probably be very helpful. So we need to slide the camera back and forth on this plate. So now we have to unscrew it here and slide it forward. Now this is you're going to be a micro adjustment. Like you're going to hit it and then like just a hair, it's off one way, a hair, it's off the other way. Oh, that's pretty good. The motors aren't very strong. They say it holds up to 1.7 pounds, but if your camera is not almost, I noticed with this camera, the D7 balances a little better because I think it's heavier. But uh, if it's not perfect on there, it will give you quite a bit of uh, camera shake. Let's turn it on. And it looks pretty good. Okay, so one thing I want to show you why this thing is so awesome is it does have this screen and every gimbal in the future needs to have this screen. Now the Crane 2 has this screen and the Ronin S I believe has a screen and I don't know any other, any other gimbal that actually has a LCD or an OLED screen but this screen is lifesaver. This screen takes away most of the need to have the app and uh, so I mean the screen it just tells you basically it tells you what mode you're in, it tells you your battery life, it tells you if you're connected to the camera uh, it tells you if you're Bluetooth or not. So your Bluetooth is on because it connects to your phone, it connects to the camera. Uh, it's kind of a weird love triangle between the phone and the camera and the gimbal itself. But we're not going to get into the app, even though the app is, in my opinion, compared to the Zion app or the Zune app. Uh, the Zune app is trash. The Feiyu Tech app is, in my opinion, one of the better apps. A couple of things about this gimbal is it has so many buttons on it compared to the Crane 2, which has the wheel, then it has the scroll wheel here, the button in the center, your power button, your mode button, and then your joystick. And then that's it. You do all your controls right there on this side of the gimbal. Set that off to the side. Now, the Feutech G6 Plus has those same buttons except for the scroll wheel. It has this wheel. It has your power button, which also does some stuff with your camera. It has your mode button. It has this. This is actually a button, so you can push this in. You have a button on the side over here, and then on the front, on the back side of it, you have another button, and then you have this back and forth little lever here, which we're gonna get to here in a second, which is one of my favorite things about the gimbal. Um, now, when you compare it to a Crane 2, or any other gimbal for that matter, they work based off what mode you're in. So if you're in, uh, let's say, all follow mode or lock mode or whatever, your scroll wheel here to control your joystick, to control the actual gimbal head itself, is limited. So you can go up or down and that's it. You get no left and right. So you have to switch modes to get the left and right, but then you have no up and down. Then you have to switch modes again to get the tilt or the rotate or whatever. So you, you're limited to how many ways you can move the gimbal at one time. But what's brilliant and absolutely brilliant about the Feutech gimbal is no matter what mode you're in, you can control almost all left, right, like right now I'm in uh, HF mode, but I can control everything. And then with this little button up front here, I go left and right, and now it controls the rotate. How cool is that? You don't have to switch modes to be able to rotate the top. Now another really cool feature with the Crane 2, and what's really big out right now is these follow focus wheels. Now this is a really nice, smooth, big wheel but it's all it is, is just a wheel that goes left and right and it's just gonna work the follow focus on a camera. What this wheel does is although it's very small and it's not as smooth, you can feel a little bit of grinding in there, but what it can do is you hold it down and now it switches to the gimbal. So now I can actually control the gimbal. So right there I'm using, I can do pan, click it again on the back here it says roll. So now I can control the roll of the head of the, cam of the gimbal, hold it again, now I can do tilt. Now how cool is that? So now when you're, when you're in flashlight mode, you can work the tilt, plus your, your joystick here still works the rest of it. So now you can do a bunch of different motions at once. So that's something that I believe uh, June and, and DJI, if you're listening, and all you other uh, gimbal companies out there, that should be on every gimbal from now on. The screen has to be on every gimbal. And then the fact that I get to control the camera or the gimbal head 
no matter what mode I'm in, should be should be like automatic. I don't I don't know why. Is this the first gimbal that does this? Because that's pretty impressive. Thank you, Tech. Thank you so much for being an innovator in this in industry, and thank you for putting that on there because that is awesome. And to be able to control the head of the gimbal with this, I wish this was bigger because it's really small, and you can see how many times I have to turn it to get the gimbal to do anything. But you know, maybe with the update, maybe that'll uh future update and that's basically what you're doing with this thing is every time you you turn the app on you have to do another update because they i'm pretty sure and they rushed it to market but this is huge and this is a beast and it's made and designed to carry big giant cameras i think somebody put a red on here once um so this is a great gimbal for having that plus you could get the follow focus server that's another thing about this it doesn't really it'll work the zoom on the rx100 mark 5 but it's really choppy and that's it uh, apparently it works really well with Panasonic point-and-shoot cameras. I don't have one yet, so maybe we'll try it out later when we get one. Is this worth the 269? Uh, absolutely. That's why I haven't returned it. Even though I bought this one, uh, I'm still going to keep this one. Even though I talked to Feutech and they, they told me that, you know, since I have the G7, which is not supported, and I have the RX100 Mark V, um, which only works the zoom, but it's choppy. They said, just go ahead and return it. We'll give you a full refund. I said, no, I'm going to keep it because it's tiny. It has a screen and it has, and I, I believe it has some, uh, a lot of potential in the future. Plus it has a quarter 20, uh, quarter 20 screw mount here so you can mount things to it. Um, I don't know, except for the bottom of the, Z, of the, the crane too. I think that's the only one, which is uh, pretty sad. So you do get one here, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, I was gonna mount a camera to this and show you guys, but I think you guys already know if you guys have a gimbal, any gimbal prior to this Feutech, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure this is the first one that you can do all these really cool controls with. So hopefully, Ronin and uh, Zune, if you guys are paying attention, uh, what Feutech done here is just absolutely amazing. So I actually love this gimbal for what it could do. Again, my complaints are, this needs to be uh, fixed. This is the same on the A1000 also. Uh, it, it doesn't, it's not centered. With, it needs to be centered and then have an adjustment to go left and right because it's kind of annoying that I can't use this with this camera. Um, I don't want to lose that plate and then I'm out. Um, another beef uh, if I had is it's a little jerky. So if you could do some firmware updates and just you know stop the jerkiness of this, sometimes you, you, you ruin a shot by it just jerks for whatever reason. But I love the fact that I can control this thing no matter what mode I'm in. Like right now it's in all lock mode because uh, I haven't released the lock back here. But look, you can see that I can just control this thing with just ease, but no matter what. So now if you push this button again, I didn't show you that, but you hold this down and now it switches to camera. So if you actually had your camera linked to this, you could uh, supposedly work the follow focus and supposedly work the zoom. Um, I'm not gonna link it right now because it's kind of a pain in the butt to do it. You need the cell phone and it, it links three ways, but Anyways, uh, I just wanted to show you guys some cool features uh, with the Feutech G6 Plus that I think uh, no one's talking about out there. And uh, let you guys know that there's going to be some other videos coming up where I'll review this uh, with this and possibly the uh, Ronin S. So um, that's it for now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care.